We bought a property out of receivership in May of 2010 and the property was severely distressed. It had a, a, a number of physical, uh, physical deferred maintenance issues uh, and the tenancy was, uh, was less than ideal and the property was under occupied. So it was a classic distressed, on, a distressed asset in a number of fronts. I mean, it also had a criminal history and really had a tough reputation within the neighborhood. So we immediately came in and we spent about $7,000 a door uh, fixing up the property. We put new siding on, the, on, all of the, on all of the garden style buildings. We got renovated the clubhouse. We rebranded the property with all new signage, naming. Uh, uh, we put in all new doors and windows and balconies and decks. So we totally physically repositioned the property in a matter of three, to, I think we completed the physical repositioning in about uh, six months. And then we worked really hard to improve uh, collections um, and the sorts of, of new residents that we were, we were attracting. So over the course of a year and a half, we were able to take a property which was uh, not in great shape and return it into a basically you know make it a uh, a fully stabilized and, and very successful property occupancy at the time of sale was about 95 percent when we started it was in the mid 80s but it wasn't just an occupancy issue we had major arrears we had um, overcrowding within the units uh, we had the water bill when we bought the property per door was close to $1,400 a door. When we sold it, it was down to $500. So there, there were material water issues at the property, uh, which we solved with a, with a water management, a very strictly enforced and implemented water management program with all new, all new uh, toilets and sinks. Um, we fixed some of the water main. There were, there, were issue, there were issues with the water mains in terms of leaking. So we were able to really, I think, physically and emotionally, if you will, reposition the property in a matter of 18 months. It's no secret that the apartment space has great fundamentals right now. Uh, operating numbers are up, occupancies are up, supply demand numbers look great for ownership. Um, historical home ownership rates are reverting back to their, their, uh, their averages as opposed to the highs, uh, you know, which, which you know, obviously create a, a, a stronger runner base. So I think that the fundamentals look really good. I think the question is for acquirers in 2012, you know, what are the returns that they should expect? And, and for guys like me that are more opportunistic in nature as opposed to more core in nature, can we compete uh, with people that have a different cost of capital than ours?